Hello, well today I'm turning the arm supports for the Sussex chair and they're a funny shape the arm supports so it will require some quite careful pole laving. I've got a couple of pretty sturdy bits of ash here which I'll just draw a knife down roughly to shape and then I'll put on the pole lathe. The thing about the arm supports is that they're extremely slender at the base but really quite thick at the sort of chair seat level and then they taper back in so it is fiddly, you've got a very thick section and very thin sections, so it will require some quite good pole laving. Anyway, I'll get these prepared and we'll see how we go. Well, I'm just working this blank round to a nice round shape, so what I do is try and get it as round as I can one end, then get it sort of round the waist in the middle, a round section, working to the other end. Well, I've nearly got this round enough now. I find a little bit of oil helps on the wood when it's turning, just makes it a bit happier, stops it squeaking. Anyway, at the moment I'm just roughing off, so I'm using my roughing gouge, which is a curved gouge. It's, it's quite effective at just taking nice shavings off to get this into a round cylinder to start with. I do actually do some power laving, but I have to say I get far more satisfaction from a treadle lathe. I think you're far more in contact with what you're making. Anyway, that's the rough cylinder. What I can do now, not really necessary frankly at this stage, but I think I will just so I can sort of see what wood I've got to play with. I'll just use my flat chisel here just to smooth it off. So it's a bit like a large skew chisel this one. And as you can see, that just takes off a nice even shaving. Well, I've very roughly sketched out what sort of goes where in terms of shaping on this arm support. So I'll, I'll get on. I do the fixed bit first in the middle, and then I'll work out towards the end. Well, here's the finished arm support, and I think that's gone reasonably okay. So I'll try that in a chair, just check it all fits. I mean, the critical points dimension-wise is that's five eighths of an inch to slot into the seat assembly. This area here, I'll actually draw a knife it or spoke shave it down to make it a little bit slimmer, just where it goes into the bottom stretcher. And at the top, fitting this into the arm, I'll probably take a little bit again with a spoke shave just take this down but um, there's one one down it's always more difficult doing the first one one to go well I've now completed the other armrest and it's always easier doing the second one because you've got the pattern for the first one anyway here they are they're both side by side on the chair so next job is to fit those and that will be the chair assembly complete so the next video will show the finished chair I'll be doing some sanding and polishing and getting it into final state to be completed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hello Tom, do you like that chair?